On April 12th, the brightest business school students from Boston University, Kellogg, MIT Sloan, and Tuck competed in a strategic war game about the future of higher education. The post-secondary education market in the United States accounts for over $500 billion per year, overshadowed only by the military-industrial complex. Each year, thousands of higher education institutions compete for more than 21 million students. Despite the vast size of this market, until just a few years ago, the U.S. higher education marketplace had not changed much. Increasingly steep college tuitions combined with strong demand for college degrees explain in part why new online entrants have been able to rewrite the rules of the higher education game in the United States. You know, the relatively high default rates uh, that you're We can't be sure which type of educational model, traditional four-year colleges, or the new age massive online platforms will succeed in this 21st century educational universe. As a parent, I have two questions for you. Why is this tipping point arrived? What is at stake? Is the massively online open course venture, Coursera, just a grand and sweeping gesture in the face of high tuition? Put Coursera in a good place. We're will it be just an historical footnote few will remember in the years ahead? Whereas Coursera is focusing more on, so it's not for profit one. Or does it portend a new educational reality for the U.S. and the world? Will education continue to take place in buildings set on leafy campuses, in virtual classrooms and video chats, or some combination of both? And just as importantly, how will the answers to those questions impact testing companies, food service operators, textbook publishers, technology companies, and other key players? There are benefits to public-private partnerships. Um, part of the reason I was attracted to um, participating in the war game was because it's, it's a dynamic environment where you can stress test a lot of different ideas in a very short amount of time. And that's very unique in terms of the offerings that typical business school students get. And it also gives you a chance to test out your knowledge. The most significant insight that a company gets from, uh, from doing a war game is an understanding of how the competitor is going to act when the company plays its strategy out. Uh, so very often I think companies will build a strategy without thinking about what the response is going to be in the marketplace uh, from the competition and that oh, Morgan can really nail that. Folding Company welcomes you to explore with us the surprising and valuable insights from this war game looking at the future of the Educational Industrial Complex.